Hi, welcome to the Washington, D.C. Market Watch, brought to you by RBI Real Estate Business Intelligence, an MRIS company. We're going to dig into the most recent numbers from the Washington, D.C. housing market. Let's jump right in. When looking at current year-over-year market activity, let's remember that we're comparing against an incentive market due to the 2010 tax credit. There are several other themes that warrant our attention before we dig into the numbers. First, we've had many months in a row of private job growth. Second, interest rates, in concert with food and energy costs, are rising. You've probably noticed this at the pump. As a result, the anticipation of these rising rates and increasing energy costs can often motivate buyers. A recovery looms, the inflection point has arrived, and the economy should soon be firing on all cylinders. Now, let's take a look at our local numbers. Pending sales increased 41.1% from February 2010 to land at 907 for the month. This could be partly the result of the calm before the 2010 tax credit storm, and any further gains in purchase demand may be on hold until the summer months. Inventory shrunk by 15.6% down to 3,002 units. Buyers still have plenty of product to sift through. Inventory levels should expand as the spring market revs up, but sellers won't list quite as many homes as they did when Uncle Sam was luring buyers with free money. Prices were still a bit soft, which partly reflects strong activity at lower price points. Median sales price decreased 7.7% from February 2010 to an even $300,000. At this time last year, prices responded favorably to the increased demand during the tax credit. For homes that are priced above what the market dictates, sellers have one of two choices. Be very, very patient or consider a slight price adjustment. Negotiations favored buyers as percent of original list price received at sale decreased to 92% for the month. We mentioned the current national interest rate of 5.23% on a 30-year fixed is on the rise. The U.S. government is looking to play second fiddle to the private sector by no longer backing three out of four mortgages. Shifting the risk burden could threaten an already fragile recovery. That said, 20% down payments could become the norm. Based on national average home prices and earnings, the Center for Responsible Lending estimates that it would take 14 years for the typical American family to save for that 20% down payment. This prospect could motivate buyers, but probably not to the same extent as the tax credit, which is why we're waiting until summer for real apples-to-apples -apples numbers. Until then, that's the Washington, D.C. Market Watch. Be sure to check back next month for the latest. Thank you.